What is cracker lacking everybody out there in the used parts universe? It is the end of the month and it's also the weekend and that can only mean one thing and that is a massive parts hunt. For instance, I've already been on eBay, snagged up seven A320 Asus motherboards for 30 Aussie dollars a pop, which makes it a phenomenal buy. Now, another thing about those A320 boards, I've heard a rumor that they will indeed support the new Matisse CPUs. So this means that a Zen 2 Ryzen 5 3600 could be on the cards with one of these cheap boards. Yes, I know they're not the best motherboards, but imagine the possibilities on a budget with this kind of combination. But on that note of what's on the cards, I need everything this month from Gravis cards to power supplies to CPUs to RAM. So we're gonna go around and hunt for everything. But the first stop is heading up to Brisbane where I've already found an i7-4770 OEM where I'm picking that up for 170 Aussie dollars. And while we're up that way, we wise will pull into good old mate Les and see what he's got on display for us and see if we can make a bargain. So with that aside, get your used PC parts hunting capes on, or in my case, get your new threads, which you traded a gaming PC for, and let's strap on in and see what deals we can get this month. So we just got back from Brisbane and that actually took a lot longer than expected. I had to go pick up two separate deals here. The first being this Dell on its own for 170 Aussie dollars. I think that's around 120 USD and it actually had a 4790 in it instead of a 4770. Now it has a hybrid uh, SSD, 500 gigabyte hard drive, 8 gigabyte RAM. Now with the motherboard, I don't know if that's gonna be any good at all because usually with these Dells, They've got those proprietary power buttons and they give error messages when you try to repurpose them in other builds. So what I'll probably do is maybe take out the i7 out of that, put into something like this, and then switch things around and try and make some value out of that. But we also managed to pick up an Optiplex uh, 9020. These are actually really good because all you have to do, since the power supplies in them are actually quite good, is chuck in a graphics card like a 1650 or something, then you get yourself an all awesome gaming PC that's ready to go without pretty much putting any effort into it at all. And then of course, the last of the prizes are the Lenovo OEMs. These are great, these are a staple. Les is hooking us up with those. And then we've got monitors, gaming monitors too. We got about uh, five of them. And the whole lot, I think we got this for in total 150 for the Optiplex and 200 for the monitors and then also 650 for all these OEMs, plus an additional 170 for this Dell right here. So I'll put the total on how much this costed in terms of Aussie dollars on the screen for you guys, as well as USD for those folks international. But with that aside, let's move on now to another deal where someone's messaged me and they've actually called me out. They're like, Brian, you gotta come out and check out this Xeon deal that I've got. And as soon as I saw the word Xeon, my eyes just opened wide open and I had to get on this. So we're gonna go pick that up now, see what it's all about. And they want about 150 Aussie dollars, which just a little over 100 USD. So we're gonna see what that deal entails because it's not only just a Xeon, it's also like a motherboard, it's a case, a power supply and all that other good stuff. And the weird thing is I haven't even started on Gumtree or Facebook Marketplace looking for deals. So this month is definitely looking like it's going to shape up to be one of the best months ever. And then of course, next month, once Zen 2 comes out, you guys are in for a special. picked up this bargain right here. Well, I'm kind of calling it a half bargain because the stuff is really dirty. It's definitely been in a heavy smoker's environment. And even before that, when this case came through, 
It's got like all uh, gyp rock. I think you guys in the US call it sheet rock. It's got like all filings and stuff like that. Uh, some of the stuff is really messy. I'm gonna have to sanitize it after I do this voice bit here. But uh, what we've got mainly the main prize is the 1270 V2 Xeon, which I guess is the similar to a 3770. Uh, and we've got the motherboard. We've got another motherboard with an i5-2400. We've got some two two gigabyte sticks of memory. We've got a Turtle Beach headset. So I'll just alcohol wipe all that down. And then we've got two power supplies, which are pretty decent, 650 watt Antec, and also a cooler power, 700 watt. I also picked up the uh, Intel coolers as well, because they always come in handy when you're doing builds and you don't have a cooler, or if you're pulling off a really good all-in-one off a non-overclockable CPU. And yes, believe me, I've seen that happen with trade-ins. You might think it doesn't happen, but it does. We've got all the input-output shields, and I got this LAN cable here, but there was a lot of garbage in that deal as well, which I just left behind because I'm not interested in um, getting really old power cables, for example, which are just gonna be absolutely worthless in terms of keeping around here, but also in terms of me wasting time cleaning it up. So essentially we just picked out all the good stuff and left all the bad behind. And we even got a core two quad motherboard. Uh, I mean, I was told all this stuff works, though with the amount of dirt on it, I am definitely gonna be double checking it and making sure it works. 100% with stability tests uh, before I put any of this stuff in gaming PCs, for example. But with that aside, let's give it an initial sanitization because I just don't like having anything unhygienic here in the Tech Yes studio. And also I forgot to mention, we got two 22 inch monitors with the deal. So, I mean, in terms of raw hardware for the dollar, we scored big time for 150 Aussie dollars here. But again, like I said before, a lot of it just, it feels dirty. Uh, so I'm gonna have to definitely just cleanse this all down right now with some tech yes loving. Now we're looking at these motherboards, monitors, coolers, and power supplies in a different light. These have had a bit of tech, yes, loving, and now they're safe to put on the shelves and stack them. And looking at the hole in this light, it looks a lot better now. Two power supplies, five motherboards, a Xeon i5-2400, and we've even got this Turtle Beach headset, which I'm sure if someone comes around, you can chuck that in the deal, uh, make someone happy. Then we've got the IO shields for the boards. And that case, uh, the Core 2 Quad, which had the case and the, the uh, motherboard and the power supply in it, I'm not even gonna do that thing at night. That needs some serious, serious tech, yes, loving before it's gonna come up well. So considering it's nighttime, I'd say we did a pretty good job. I also shout out to the crew over there. They helped us out. They wanted to come on the deals hunt, Shan for the fam and also Nate in the Discord. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this haul right here, 150 Aussie dollars, I'd say I did pretty well. Let us know in the comment section below though what you think of this deal or the previous deal we got from Les's because now it's time, finally, even though it's like 6.30 at night, to go check out good old Gamtree and also Facebook Marketplace because I am in need of quite a few things. So we just finished up a mega session on Gumtree looking for deals and this whole thing about the Ryzen launch coming up soon with Zen 2, I would have thought there would have been uh, more first gen and second gen CPUs available, but there's not. Basically what I'm seeing here is it's cheaper to just, at the moment, I think at least in Australia, the meta would be to get those boards like I did at the start of this episode 
and then just go on AliExpress and download some CPUs from there because they've got some pretty good prices. And yeah, we're going new meta with the terminology too. just download the CPU. But continuing on with the deals on Gumtree, we had a Corsair 650 watt rated power supply and that is going for 30 Aussie dollars. And I put in an offer on that. There's some RX 570s, which he had three for sale. I messaged the guy and said, look, would you take 320 Aussie for all three of your RX 570s? And then there was also 1080 Ti's available, two of them for 750 a pop each. And I put in an offer of 600. So waiting for those guys to get back to me. But there was also another deal on DDR4 memory uh, for Trident Z stuff for 150 Aussie for 3000 megahertz RGB stuff. That looks really good in a build. It does help sell, especially higher end systems. The RGB memory does work a treat. But one crazy thing is, at least from judging from Gumtree, we're gonna check out the Facebook marketplace soon, is that it seems like graphics cards, the mining deals are running out, at least here in Australia. So it's a sort of a tough market where you're gonna be paying a little bit more than what you used to. And sort of all those deals are flowing out now. So I guess it's a weird market because I haven't done a parts hunt in Australia for two months now, pretty much, because last month we did it in Taiwan, and so I wasn't really looking for many GPUs there, or at least X mining GPUs. So it's funny how the market shifted in two months, but let's check out Facebook Marketplace quickly, and then come back to you guys and see what we've managed to pull up there. And this is pretty much the only good deal I can find was a 430 watt power supply for $19, Aussie. So it'd be like 13 USD. It's not bad, especially if it works okay. But Facebook Marketplace, oh. The last avenue to check out now was eBay and looking for some RX 570s and GTX 1060s. They seem a little bit above market average. And of course the problem with eBay and selling used graphics cards on eBay is that the sellers have to pay the fees, they have to pay shipping, and that's why getting those local deals is always a lot better than uh, going on eBay and looking for those deals. But sometimes you can find good stuff, it's just I'm trying to exhaust every single avenue this month because I want to get as many deals as possible, basically. But we're going to wait for some replies. Hopefully some of those people get back to us, and then we'll see what magic we can still come up with this month. And here we are now at the next day and some of the people got back to me about some of those graphics cards and I've got two deals that are guaranteed. They're just waiting to get back from their holidays on the weekend and that is the first of all a 1660 Ti. Picking that up for 300 Aussie dollars. They say they've only used it for a little bit and it's pretty much brand new with receipts and warranties. So that's a pretty good deal considering the whole market and what I've learned this month, and this is something to take home out of today's parts hunt, is the GPU market is drying up in terms of really good deals, especially things like RX 570s. For instance, if you guys are in the US on eBay, some of those $85 RX 570s, they're not going to remain at those prices for much longer, I think. Once they start drying up and people realize how good a value they are, you're not gonna see them really on the market anymore. So I'm kind of wishing that I sort of went on the prowl a little bit more a couple of months ago, because this sort of caught me by surprise, as I said before, me being in Taiwan last month for Computex, and then me doing this massive parts haul today. In those two months, things have shifted big time, and I've kind of got to look for another avenue now to get some GPUs in bulk. So I'll be checking that out, I'm not too sure yet. Gonna have to go back to the drawing board. Got a lot to do around here at the studio, especially in the next week. We've got the uh, RTX Super coming up, as well as the X570, as well as the RX 5700. So three big launches within a week. I better get back to it. But with that said, we've got that 1660 Ti in the kitty. We've also got a GTX 1050 Ti. Now, I offered them 135 Aussie dollars. They've accepted it. This is sort of the max threshold I'm willing to go with a card like this, it's pretty much fair value at its current price point. But the thing with the 1050 Ti is I'm especially thinking that and that Optiplex, for example, I could mix and match that combo, pretty much just slot it in there. And you've got a nice little uh, gaming PC that you could quickly uptick a profit on in the used market. So that'll be an easy deal. I'm picking that up tomorrow as well as the 1660 Ti 
uh, when those people are back on the Gold Coast. So they won't be too far to get those deals. And at their current rates, they represent pretty good value for money. Now, in terms of the other components, things like power supplies, I'm just gonna be buying them when they're on sale in bulk, as well as cases. You can get pretty good deals on them. They sort of beat that of the used market. Of course, always buying a used power supply, you've gotta check that thing out quite a bit. Because if you guys didn't know in the past, I've had power supplies that have caused PCs to boot for 10 or 15 seconds and then they've caused the system to shut out. And when I've changed that power supply around, things have worked properly. So you've got three different rails there to worry about, 12 volt, five volt, and also the 3.3 volt lines. And if even one of those is faulty, then that'll give some weird symptoms. So always buying a used power supply, be careful of that. Uh, motherboards are pretty straightforward, but I am just stocked to the brink with CPUs, motherboards now, especially after those A320 boards and I gotta look into getting some more memory, especially DDR3. In terms of DDR4, the person got back to me about that Trident Z stuff. They want 160 Aussie, pretty decent deal, except my threshold's 150, so maybe if they come back and they say, look, I'll take the 150, then we've got another deal. But as it stands, is the total for this month is a little bit over. And we have, I think, seven monitors. We've got nine PCs, we've got five more motherboards, we got four gigabytes of DDR3 uh, memory, but all those other PCs that we got from Les uh, early in the deals, they've got uh, memory and also hard drives in them too, coolers, motherboards. So that's why the OEMs are always a really safe play because you're getting the whole package in there. And if you wish to get low powered GPUs like uh, 1050 Ti's, then you don't even need to go out and get another power supply. So you can save costs in that regard too. But value here, let us know in the comment section below guys, what you think of this month's parts hunt. I'm just over the moon at some of the deals I got this month. But of course, that GPU market, it is worrying me a little bit. I've got to now go back to the drawing board and look for a new avenue on what's hot in the GPU market. Because at current prices, especially some of the prices these guys are asking for 980 Ti's and 1070's and stuff like that, you're better off just waiting for eBay sales, for example, on new things like 1660's or 1660 Ti's, where you're gonna get a lot better of a deal in terms of just bulk buying them when they got like a 20% off sale or something. So apparently that's coming soon with the Amazon Prime uh, sale where eBay is gonna counter that in Australia. So if you guys wanna see maybe a deals video where I point out all the hot buys on eBay for Aussies, let us know in the comment section below too. But with that aside, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us. Also let us know in the comment section below what you want me to do in next month's part hunt. Do you want me to hunt those Ryzen deals and see if anything's on the horizon because Nothing in this month's part hunt really represented the value for money there on the Ryzen CPUs. I only found the motherboards. And so as we said before, AliExpress was definitely offering some better deals when it came to those CPUs at raw purchasing prices. I think everyone sort of is not, at least in Australia, selling off their used first and second gen CPUs, which is a little bit surprising. I thought Zen 2 uh, by now would have had people selling off their CPUs, but maybe after the launch, that's when you'll see a lot of first and second gen Ryzen CPUs coming on the market when people just want to do a straight swap and then get rid of their old CPU. So hopefully that's the scenario and next month's part hunt is going to be jam packed. And if you want to see these videos, the moment they drop sub button and also ring the bell, it's down there and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.